dear students today i am going to explain how to create dynamic routing in cisco packet tracer the implementation of dynamic routing we can also call it as routing information protocol so this is the protocol we can use it for dynamic routing so here that routing information protocol which is also called as rip so in the table today i will explain what kind of the devices interfaces ip address a subnet mask and default gateway address we are going to use for our exercise just there are four pc and all the interfaces set as static and the ip address for each pc it's 192.168.1.2 3 and for two series for pc 2 and 3 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 it's common for all the subnet mask and here the default gateway address we have to set for 192.168.1.1 and 2.1 we have to use it for pc 0 1 2 and 3 and the router ip address the interface name is gigabit ethernet 0/1 and so once we can draw these the diagram in the cisco packet tracer you can easily understand what kind of ip address we are going to set for the dynamic routing protocol so first i am going to place four pc pc0 pc1 pc2 and 3 and next i am going to use two switches today i am going to use pt switch that is switch 0 and 1 and we need two routers i am going to place the router 4331 the router 0 4331 router 1 next i am going to use the automatic connection type for to connect all the components just you click on the automatically choose connection type and you click on that component to connect with either pc to switch or switch to router so the purpose of automatically choose connection by default it will be enable what kind of interfaces we have to connect for each component so that is the main benefit of automatic choose connection type we can use it for any kind of exercise right the next step i am going to set that ip address for all the components here for router 0 i am going to start from 192.168.1.1 and for pc 0 192.168.1.2 and pc1 192.168.1.3 so this is the first series for lan connection 1 and for router 1 it's a 2.1 series pc2 it's 2.2 for pc3 it's 2.3 so here that 1.1 series is used for router 0 2.1 series is used for router that is lan connection 2 or router 1 and when we connect with two routers today i am going to use 3.1 series to connect with two different lan connection or two different routers okay so the next step we have to set that ip address for all four pcs here just you click on the pc 0 go to desktop and select ip configuration and here the ip configuration the interface is a static and first pc 0 ip address subnet mask and default gateway address is 192.168.1.1 and for pc 1 the pc1 ip address alone it will change the remaining ip address we have to set as it is what we set for pc0 
so the default gateway address it's same for pc0 and pc1 so already we have discussed many videos regarding this default gateway address and for a router 1 or lan connection 2 just i am going to use 2.2 for pc2 and the default gateway address is 192.168.2.1 so that's its ip address it's going to connect for pc2 and the same kind of ip address we have to set for pc3 okay now we have set all the ip address for four pcs the next step we have to set that ip address for a router here we are going to use the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 so before that i am going to verify that interface for switch 0 to router 0 it's 0 the interface is and for to router to router here the interface is 0 slash 0 slash 1 so that's its important thing before we have to set that ip address we have to verify and that interface it should match with that ip address so that is an important point we have to take it here and for router 0 1.1 we have set and for 0 slash 1 we have to use 3.1 series so the subnet mosk is it belongs to class c all the subnet mosk is 255.255.255.0 and come to the router 1 again we have to set for uh, that is 192.168.2.1 and gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 it's a 3.2 ip address we have to set for router 1 okay now the second step is over the third step before that i am going to place the message whether it's the message it's able to communicate with the pc to router or pc to pc or pc to pc 0 to lan connection 1 or 2 so here when I try to send that message with two different LAN connection that is PC0 to PC2 the message is failed. So for that now we are going to configure uh, the dynamic routing. So RIP so we can with the help of RIP protocol that is information routing protocol routing information protocol we can create a dynamic routing right. So here that is router 0 series it start from 1.0 so just you type that ip address and you click the add button the next one 3.0 series it's used to, to connect with the router 0 to router 1 and go to settings and click save the same thing you have to do it for router 1 just you click on that RIP and type 192.168.2.0 so that the starting IP address is 2.0 it's followed by 2.1, 2 and 3 right so here 3.0 it's used for to connect with two different routers and go to settings and click on save button okay now we have completed all the process and set that IP address and completed all the configuration. Now I am going to verify that whether we can able to send the message from PC0 to PC2. Now the message is failed. So because as I said earlier it takes few minutes time to configure and the background process is still running. So within few seconds we can able to communicate with router 0 to router 1 right now when i try to send the message from pc0 to router 1 it's successful now pc0 to pc2 the message was successful so the same thing i am going to verify in simulation window so now we have set for two messages 
so that first message i have set for pc02 router 1 and for second message i have set for pc02 pc2 right so that two messages is pausing now now that the router 1 it send that acknowledgement to that pc0 now look at that the screen the status of the first message was successful okay so still the second message is uh, that is running on the background and sending that acknowledgement to that pc0 so once it reaches the acknowledgement the progress status it becomes successful okay now the second message also successful and we got that the acknowledgement successfully from pc2 to pc0 so in this way we can create a dynamic routing in cisco packet racer i hope this information is helpful to you